Hello everyone. This is Bloodrocutioner, aka Chris, bringing you my thoughts and conclusions on how I felt and how I still feel about the new Origins map. The new Origins map, hands down, is one of the most difficult zombie maps I have played to this date. <laughs> Um, going into the 27th, I had 954 deaths. <laughs> My total on today, the 29th, is 978 deaths. Yeah, <laughs> I've died that much. But it is a really fun map. Um, I am not disappointed at all. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but it's really an appealing map to zombie fans, whether you like zombies or you're absolutely obsessed. And I am on the borderline of obsessed. <laughs> um, the MP40, I am so glad they brought this gun back. I used this gun throughout most of the gameplay. And um, I must say, they did a fantastic job on map development, and not only that, but bringing some of the old elements of zombies back with the original characters. I mean, we're playing as younger Tank, Takio, Richtof, and, and Nikolai, and, uh, you know, this is where it all began, hence the name Origins. This is where... Everything just starts going to hell. And uh, there you see the zombie dro ah, zombie blood drop. <laughs> zombie drop. Um, but this map has definitely lived up to my expectations. Um, there are a few things that really irritate me. <laughs> the panzers are a big issue. Um... They can fly places, they can fucking teleport, like, they'll be, like, right in front of you. They'll just land in front of you. And, um, it's really a big issue, but other than that, you know, giant robots, they're, they're bearable. Like, you know where they're going, when their foot is dropping, and so on. Yeah, but this this map is really tricky. The generators you see here activate uh, different perks. And there is also a new machine in here called the Wonder Fizz. I call it the Wonder Jizz just for laughs. But um, as you can see here, you start it up and this is where Jug is. So this one is the most important generator because you know jug is a must-have especially in a map like this um but even with jug this map is a challenge this part of the map is surrounded by two areas which the giant robots come in and there you see like one place but you can get crushed easily i mean this this map I like it because there are places to train, but this like a flak that element of having a giant ass robot walking around and stepping where you can train and whatnot is the deal breaker really because you find yourself sitting, you know, in the path of this and you have to move and sometimes you have to move in the way in which a whole horde of zombies are just running at you and that can be a mess if you don't have a good gun and there you saw the mauser the mauser is pretty cool um, 
it does the same damage, I believe, as that 1911. But it's all right. There you saw the Wonder Fizz. Um, the Wonder Fizz gives you a random perk. And I have gotten Electric Cherry, I have gotten PhD, um, I have gotten Mule Kick from it, Speed Cola. I'm guessing that it gives you one random perk. I do not think, however, who's who is in it, thank god, because I really don't like that, that perk that much. But, um, it gives you one random perk at the cost of 1500 and, um, let's see what else I get here. I get the teddy bear, which means it's gonna move. And this spot moves randomly each time you play, which is kind of cool. And there you see one of the big-ass robots. <laughs> yeah, our buddy, uh, Wise Dragon we were playing with, he was just a rant. He was a friend of, um... Our new clan members, and uh, we were playing with him. And this, is, mind you, if I, you know, remind you, this is the third time I have played this map. Um, second time was the, I think it was the video I recently uploaded. That was like the second time. Um, if not the first, I'm not really sure, but, yeah, this, this map, um, one thing, if you do play on this map, be sure you have stamina up. Now, I know what you're thinking, stamina up is useless, blah blah blah, who the fuck uses stamina up? I'll tell you what, I can't tell you how many times I got saved by that perk in this map. Uh, you really gotta play the map to understand, but stamina allows you to move a Let's lot quicker in the mud, because there is mud, and it does slow you down. Um, I don't know if you remember Shino Numa. Shino Numa had mud that slowed you down, and um, it right. just was not good. <laughs> uh, it was a bitch. But yeah, there you see the Thompson. They have the Thompson here. And the wall weapons, you can get the MP40 out of the box and the AK-74U. The MP40 comes with a stock, which allows you to move while aiming faster. And there's one of the rocks you have to activate for the song. There's three of them, one in spawn, one there, and then the last one is up by the excavation site, up those stairs to the right. And it's uh, right where you drop off. And there we got uh, the music piece. We already got a couple pieces for the fire staff. Now the staffs are like the wonder weapons of this map. And there you hear Samantha, who is quite annoying in this map, to be honest. And this, uh, this. Only with all can Agartha be reached. Yeah, so you get a gramophone, gramophone, whatever the fuck it's called, and that opens up a Gartha, which I do not have gameplay of at this moment. The gateway is open. The secrets of a Gartha will be revealed. But um, as you heard, there are secrets to a Gartha and whatnot, and there's the third stone. In case you were wondering, or meteorite, whatever. For some reason, they're green. I don't know if that's significant for zombies. I think one of my theories is I think it is what is in the ray gun. I think it is some kind of counter reactant of 115. Um, who knows? <laughs> I could be just talking out of my ass for all I know, but. I, I, that's a theory I composed, and, um, but yeah, this is the church, remember that big, yeah, big building in the trailer, this is it, 
um, back there was a shovel, and you can use a shovel to dig in random places in the map. And you can get grenades, you can get a free weapon, which is usually the Mauser, Ballista, or Remington. And, um, but yeah. And there you see the Wonder Fizz again, and, uh, Speed Cola is to my right, or to the left. But like I said, there are places to train. It's not a tightly spaced map like Shangri-La. Um, it is somewhat of a bigger map than what Treyarch usually puts out. I do have to say I was kind of disappointed. I thought the last Zombies map was going to be all the like moon and... Uh, Kino and all those maps like I thought they were gonna bring it back, but I guess not uh, Who knows? I mean Treyarch is full of surprises uh, Wouldn't be a first time they said that was the last DLC and decided to release something else uh, See reviving people is a big pain in this map especially if you're far apart and even if you're close by, you can easily get cut off by zombies, which almost happened just now. Nothing could such a breast. This will hold them for what? Ten seconds? And here's this fucking pain in the ass, the Panzer. Hate this fucking guy. And uh, I was just informed by um, Metric Tempest that uh, this guy's weak point is the flashlight on his helmet and when you shoot that it blows out his, the glass or his visor and then you start shooting him in the fucking face and you don't stop because this guy is powerful in my opinion he is a little bit overpowered um because even if you're far away he can still grab you he has a um arm that extends and he grabs you, and what happens is you have to fucking shoot him in the arm. And as you've seen, I went down because I got blinded by fire, and I was too focused on him. And, uh, crawling towards the nuke. And, uh, I get it, but I still die. <laughs> like I said, this is one of the most difficult zombie maps. I die often on it. But I'm still getting used to it. I'm still trying to figure out where everything is. And do you see the tank? Um, the tank is cool, but once again, zombies sprint at like 50 miles per hour. So um, it's only useful to a certain extent. And I don't think Treyarch could have put Jug in a worse or fucking place. <laughs> like, it's back in a fucking corner. I think they did that for a reason. Just to troll people. But this is my favorite place to train. And you'll see that throughout the video. Um, tonight, I'm going to try doing a solo run. Not sure how that's going to go. I... <laughs> I died on ROM 2 on solo, and I say that with no no embarrassment, no anything, because it is a difficult map, it's challenging, um, but I got the 10, um, I'm gonna try getting the staffs, try bringing as much gameplay of everything and anything I can get, because, you know, that's what I do. <clears throat> and uh, for pack punch, you have to activate all of the generators. And there is a um, a counter that displays the different. <laughs> and that was fucking close. <laughs> um, but there is a counter that shows all the generators that are activated. However, 
these generators can be destroyed by the Templars or ancient zombies or I've heard so many names from but yeah they run out and they just make your life a living hell and there's that counter I was talking about for the generators but they do make your life a living hell they do cause a problem they run to each generator and break it you have to kill them in order to prevent them from destroying all of them and it is challenging your best bet is to part of a staff. take them out at the end of the round and there you saw a part of the ice staff um, I do believe that you you can only get that when it's snowing um, along with probably all the other parts I'm not sure about the other parts but I know that one it has to be snowing in this area or whatever area you're digging in just to get it there you see him trying to train got the AK-74U with the extended clip which is pretty cool and uh, Wise kept going down he goes down a lot throughout this match um, <laughs> I, I do I do try and get him sometimes and then there's a couple times where he was like oh no don't worry about me just kill him because you know I already he already went down a lot and he didn't want to be any trouble and I thought I was gonna get down there but fortunately they <laughs> made it so that you can't get kicked off like a fucking football but I I was like rate by that fucking robot's foot. <laughs> yeah, watch him fly here. This was funny. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny because uh, it made me think of Mob of the Dead where the zombie just like flew across the map when I was using the Vitrolic Withering, which is the Acid Gap Pack Punch. But yes, this map, as you can see, it's very eerie. Um, it does bring out that ancient feel, being in trenches and being at war. Um, I mean, you're being up close to the zombies. They're like coming out of the trenches. They're jumping down in front of you, and it's just a feeling of like what <laughs> it is an unbelievable map and um, quite challenging I have raged so much because I went down in so many ways and the monkeys are in this map and I do believe that is the only tactical you get. I'm not really sure if there is anything else. All I've seen is monkeys. So, the monkeys are in this map. And the voice is much different. Um, you can hear S Samantha still, but the voice is different. And, uh, what I think Treyarch is doing is they're setting up somewhere for the next Black Ops or whatever to start. And you can shoot down that plane for a part of the fire staff, FYI, and it just falls right there. At this time, I didn't know what the hell I just did. I thought, you know, I thought that you could shoot down the planes, but I guess there's only one that you can actually shoot down. But that was part of fire staff. And those chests are... I do believe that... Um, if you spend so much money on... The Wonder Fizz and... You fill up these chests with souls. Um, yeah, see there you see the part of staff and where it fell. But those chests back there, I guess you have to kill zombies next to them. 
And when you kill however many zombies next to a chest, it gives you a symbol above Jug, and you'll probably see that later. Um, I definitely made note of that in the video later on. I zoomed in on what it looks like. And this is the church again, going upstairs, we are going to activate the 6th generator, and final. Yeah, you can hear the, um, the song you get when you get all three of the meteorites. Pretty badass. And, um, if you played Kino, this is the same singer who did Kino and all those other maps. <clears throat> Here's the excavation site. That's the pack punch to the left. And, um, you go down here. There you see a part to the. I guess it's the ice staff. All the generators are up and running. And I still haven't figured out I get the center open, but it opens to a downstairs. But so the once German again, thinks this is part of some kind of flying machine. Part for the Maxis drone. One part is in the spawn. It's another of your crazy machines. I guess it's kinda of like a um a dragon fire like in multiplayer it's basically a self-controlling um, uh, dragon fire and it shoots at the zombies which is pretty cool you need to hear the songs yeah 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 uh, one of my theories to opening the center is you have to put the gramophone or whatever the fuck it's called at these Hello, spots. Right. We may need this right here. Um, I think there's three of these spots. One by a six generator. Um, one by jug. And this one, or this one is by six, I believe. And that goes into the world that Samantha won't shut up about. God, damn mud. Uh, I, I really wish one weapon I'm kind of disappointed they didn't put in here was the the trench gun and they have audio logs scattered through the map um, they're all on tables and whatnot and it says hold X to listen to audio log so shouldn't be that hard to miss I'm kind of disappointed they didn't put the trench gun in here, just because it was a really good shotgun. But they did put the KSG I'm in here. Somewhere to put these pieces together. Nah. We'll call the zombie shield man come blood. back. Blood money is something you dig up, and you can dig up grenades, which is really fucking a troll move on Treyarch, of course. Again, trying to pull a trick on us. And there you see I got that metal, the hexagon shape above Jug, uh, right after I got Wonder Fizz. So we can only speculate if that happens when you buy Wonder Fizz so much or you feed so many souls. Who knows? And they do have the Scorpion Evo in here. It's another new gun. I love this gun. Um really good point maker not that powerful but still a good point maker um you know this is a rapid firing smg 
low damage at that with a substantially high fire rate. Um, I think this gun shoots at about 1200 RPM. Um, of course, with double tap, this gun fucks shit up. And you will see later on, I pack a punch this gun. And I did this because, for one, I wanted to see just how much I had to fill up the box with souls. So this is kind of like in past easter eggs where you had to kill so many zombies for something to happen. Like on Moon, you had to kill so many zombies to fill up the containers of souls. You have to fill up the container, and you had to kill close to like 200 zombies and to put their souls in the container. But this map, my best advice, don't get frustrated. Don't worry, everyone goes down. You know, it's one of those things, I got pissed off because I was trying to work out my shotguns. And this pretty much fucked that all up, no so I just sense, gave up. I'll take it. You see the afterburner and the scorpion evo pack punched. Um, they did kind of make the MP40 and the STG44. They made both of those guns um, a lot, a lot better this time around. The afterburner, it was in World at War, um, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave you 32 rounds per magazine. I'm not sure if they changed the magazine size, but they did give you more ammo in this game, in Black Ops 2, more than what they gave you in World at War, which is really great because it's a good solid gun it's powerful you can buy the ammo off the wall and um, it's it's one of those guns that that are really useful and right there I almost got stepped on that was so close um, if I would went down there that would have been that would have been embarrassing to say, nonetheless. And there you see that reward thing on the wall. And uh, Tempest was trying to get me to take his double tap because he already had double tap. So I hope they patch it to where it doesn't give you the same perk or whatever. This can give you max ammo. It can give you... A free perk it can give you even a pack punch gun and if you don't believe me then you're in for a treat because later on in this I get the STG pack punched out of the box and I'm thinking that this somehow is connected to buried because they were mining and buried and, um, I mean, you have to think, okay, what were they digging for? What were they, you know, what were they really digging for? What did they lead you to think that they were digging you f digging for? And it's one of those things where it's like, okay, maybe there's something more to it. Because, um... I think it was called Resolution 67 or something like that. But I looked that up, did a little bit of research, and according to the research I did, um, that was actually a bill, and it was to mine for goods in a certain area of the U.S. But it's suspicious that they found 115 here. And they were digging elsewhere 
Were they really looking for goods? Or were they looking for something more? Who knows? They could have been looking for something and they never found it. And there you see a weird symbol. Um, I got this around the time when I got in the tank. Let's get this thing moving. So I don't know if it has anything to do with the tank or whatever. It looks like a picture of like a rock or I couldn't really see that well. I wasn't playing in HD. But here you see me on the tank. Woo. Pretty badass. I like the tank. But the fact that the zombies can sprint like Usain Bolt and fucking jump onto a tank is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I can see if they were like dropping down onto the tank from somewhere. That would be a little bit more believable. Like, it would be a lot better. I don't like the fact that they can fucking full sprint and jump on a tank. It's kind of bullshit. But then again, they jump like 50 feet. They always have since... Like... Forever. For some reason. That's enough of that! Um, I can't recall what I was doing. Um, I think I was looking for one of the music discs. Because I know for a while we were searching for the music discs. And, uh, we just couldn't find them. They spawn randomly throughout the map and there's four of them. But, I couldn't find them. So, just kind of slowly gave up. <laughs> Here you see, going up there, Tempest, what's up man, very great zombies match indeed, even though I went down quite a few times, I think I went down four times, and I died once, um, still a good zombies map, there's Wise back there, trying to survive with almost nothing, um, like I said, this map, keep in mind, it's best to not get frustrated. Um, <laughs> I have a really hard time not getting frustrated. Because you're so used, I don't want to say this, but you're so used to doing good on every zombies map. I mean, I'm not the best zombies player, then again, I'm not the worst. I'm not gonna say I'm the best because I don't want to sound full of shit or full of myself. But, I mean, you're so used to doing good on zombies and then you get a map like this where it's actually almost to a point where it's unbearable. It's like unplayable. Um, it just... It gets to be insane. And, um, here you see. Wise is trying to get back in the game. Shouldn't you be dead um, by now? He got Jug. Which is good, but it only lasts for a couple minutes. Not even. He gets cornered. And, um, he goes down. See, it's just... It's so, so difficult. I think with more people, it kind of becomes one of those things where... It's really hard to find a place that you're comfortable training the zombies or doing whatever. Uh, but I try and revive him again. And I do, but once again, it doesn't really last that long. And there you see I got another medal, 
Um, and that was from filling that chest with, I guess, a zombie soul. <laughs> um, I don't know what else you have to do for it, but so far filling your chest with souls works. And here's what proves you wrong. There you go. Pack a punch. STG. And yes, I did trade the ray gun because I don't have PhD. Nor do I feel like trying to get it. But yes, I trade the ray gun. Now, moving on from that. The STG pack punch is good too. And like I said, they made changes to the STG since World at War. Gave it more ammo. And there you have it. It's a great gun. I used it. Um, it's one of those guns where you don't think it's going to be good. But it does happen to turn out really awesome. And there you see the downstairs of this place. Mule kick is down here. And the staff areas to put the parts are right here. You have the fire staff, ice staff, um, purple staff, which I don't know what the hell that is. And the red staff, which I don't know what that is either. I think the orange one is fire. I am not really sure. The orange just might be lightning, because I know there's lightning, ice, fire, and the other one, I'm not really sure what it is. And I did hear that if you fill up all the chests with souls, you get a melee weapon, which is kind of like the thunder gun, and it's basically like an instant kill that you can... Use that and kill the zombies once you fill up all the chests. And I might try that later on tonight. Like I said, if time persists, I will be more than willing to try that theory out. I have tons of theories to work on and tons of research to do. I do not like spoiling maps for myself. I'm stubborn, I like to just go into a map and not know what the hell to expect. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather go into a map blinded than know, oh, well this happens if you do this, this happens if you do that. I like finding things out for myself. And I'm not the smartest person, but I can figure out a puzzle or two. Once again, trying to fill up the chest. Almost go down. <laughs> and wise goes down. Tempest did a really great job. I don't know where he was training. I think he was training at Speed Cola. Yeah, he was. Now that I remember. <clears throat> Throwing a monkey. Almost go down. Almost get saved by the monkey. No, oh. that would have been it. That would have been the end of the game if I would went down. Only I can save you. I ain't sure that girl's right in the head. She really gets mad if she doesn't get her way. Come on, Insta kill. You behind all these magic potions too, German? See the STG in action. Not too sure on which one, like their STG or MP40. I think I think the STG has 
it has less damage, I know that. Um, and a more manageable recoil. However, the MP40 has a more weird recoil pattern. Don't fuck with me. I'm a crack shot. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, MP40, STG, which is bear. Who knows? I kind of like the Ray of Fire, the STG, though. Um, the STG has a manageable recoil, like I said. And uh, the MP40, the recoil is manageable, but it just kind of jumps a little bit. It's kind of weird. And uh, this is when it all goes to hell. Unfortunately. I think we could have easily got into round 30 if this shit wouldn't have fucking happened. Um, crawlers are fucking hard to keep in this. Feel something burning? That's our and the zombie gets ran over. I'm looking around like, what the fuck just happened? Tempest is taking a piss, and Wise is just running for his life because he has like no perks or anything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much almost the end. So just enjoy. <laughs> uh, the, and on top of that, the generators are being attacked. Um, nothing I can really do. Both are down at speed cola. Um, didn't really want to risk going to speed cola. See, I tried risking it there. Almost went down. Once again, jumping and stamina saved my life. Um, there you see one of the uh, Templars or whatever the fuck zombies you want to call them. And fortunately, I got there right when Tempest died, which pissed me off because I was right there. But I'm pretty sure if I would have got him, he wouldn't have been back for another couple minutes, or not even minutes, but seconds. So. I found a piece of a staff. Part to thy staff. Now at this point, I'm just in pure survival mode. And I am doing whatever I can to survive. Selfish Samantha is selfish. It's always about her. Save me. You'll be rewarded if you rescue me. So, right now, I'm just running around the fucking map, trying to keep the generators up, because, you know, the perks, when they come back, they're gonna need them, but, really wasn't worth it, because for one, one person doesn't have enough for a jug, and two, it's just not worth it, because there's no way... That you're gonna survive unless you have some kind of fucking good vantage point to cover both players. Oh, yeah, this is basically the downfall. And, um. Yep, I hope you enjoyed the video. These are just my thoughts on the map. Hopefully, they'll come out with a few patches to. I don't know, to help make the <laughs> make the map a little bit easier. Um, fucking crawlers. You cannot keep crawlers to save the life of you. Like, you can keep four runners and they'll die. It's fucking ridiculous. And you see him by stamina up. But yeah, you have to basically do everything with out gang crawlers and there you saw I almost got downed 
not paying attention really. That's what happens when you throw your mind off the map and the game for like a second. You just get distracted and you almost go down, or you do go down. But, yeah, they already pretty much destroyed all the generators, so I'm just going over to 6 to try and rescue that one, which I do. But, really, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I... Uh, oh man. No, I don't rescue the 6th generator, I just keep going. Yeah, but this is a little route the, ta the tank takes. And, um... It's muddy throughout this whole route. That's so you can't just, you. you know, run down the route the whole game. There's like mud and zombies spawn in front of you. It's not all that great. How do you like that? Right, yep, yeah, just enjoy the rest of the video guys. I will try and record a solo video. Um I'm going to be away for the weekend out of town. So, I will get a video out as soon as I can, and, um, so yeah, just, uh, stay awesome, guys, and if you haven't got this map yet, it's best to start preparing, play a lot of zombies, you know, practice your skills, and so on, but yep, hope you guys enjoyed, take it easy out there. Easier if we knew exactly what to do. Die. The sooner I could get out of here. I'm all out. 